You can run right out again. I'm sick of little boys today. But I've come to buy a pudding. I've got a shilling. Look. Why did you get this, you little shrimp? And stop your dancing. You're making me rock like a ship on sea. Ma's purse. That's the last shilling we got. So make it a good one, Mrs. Harder. Make it big and lots of gravy. Here you are. Careful. It's hot. I've got the pie. I've got the pie. Shh. Ma's asleep, Jim. Bring it over here. What about Ma? She won't want it. She never eats. But the gravy might do her good. Just a little taste. Let Ma have a bit. Here, Ma, try a bit. It's <coughs> lovely. I'll have it. Leave it, Jim. She might feel like it later. I told you she don't want food no more. What's the matter with her, Emily? Nothing's the matter. She's tired as up. She just wants to get some sleep, don't she? But she's been asleep all day and yesterday. Just eat your pie. You heard what she said. There's no more shillings in that purse, so don't expect no more pies after this one. She'll get better soon. We'll soon be out of this place. That's what she told me, Jim. Will we go back to our cottage? You know we can't go back there. We had to move out when Father died. Eat your pie. She wants us to enjoy it. And then go to sleep. Emily, what's going to happen to us? Shh, Lizzie. No point worrying. We'll be all right when Ma gets better. But what if she don't get better? We'll manage. We'll have to. Now go to sleep. I can hear something tapping. I did knock, but the liabets don't answer. Liabets must be got up. Is she dead? No, sir, she ain't dead. Sick then? No, sir, she ain't sick either. Up you get, woman. Where is your money, Mrs. Jarvis? What's that nice smell? D did you eat pie last night? Yes. A lovely meat pie, all hot and full of gravy? I bought it with Ma's last shilling. Ma's last shilling? No money, no rent, no room. We have nowhere else to go. Ma, couldn't we go back to the cottage? I liked it better there. Your cottage? Find, find yourself a father and, and let him pay for one. Give us a little longer and we'll pay our rent. The girls can help me. I've made up my mind, Mrs. Jarvis. I have a family who wants to move in here tonight. Eight of them. And what's more, they can pay me. Out! Here, keep it safe. It's the last thing Father made you. Where can we go? We'll find somewhere, don't worry. Not the workhouse. No, not the workhouse. I'd rather die. I'm going to take you to the only friend I've got in the world, Rosie. Are we going to live in the big house? I'll have to trust you to be good. What do you mean, Ma? Of course we'll be good. I know you will. Come on now. If Rosie can't help us, nobody can.
I'm no cook. Should be upstairs to me. Papa job. Dusting the rooms. Annie Travis, I never thought I'd see you again. Come in, all of you. Get yourselves warm. You ain't coming for work, have you? After all this time. Cook's going spare. She's looking for someone to help her. Look at you. You got anywhere to go? No. We'll find somewhere. And you're not fit for work. You're exhausted, Annie Jarvis. Lord, that's the coffees and I ain't done them. If anyone comes down, duck under the table quick. All right, all right. His lordship can wait five minutes. Help Rosie with her bread, Emily. Like I've taught you, plenty of flour, don't let any air in. I know. <coughs> Rosie tells me you're in a bad way, Annie Jarvis, and I must say you look it. I've only come to say goodbye to you and Rosie, because you've always been so kind to me. You've always done your work well. That's what matters. You can cook, can you, girl? She can cook as well as I can, and scrub the floor. She can sleep here and take up no room. She wouldn't need paying. I couldn't do anything for the other girl. I have a sister who's cook. She might give her a chance. I don't want to know they're here, Rosie. If his fortune finds out, it's all of us for the workhouse. It's the best I can do to help you, Annie. It's more than I expected. At least you saved my girls from that place. We have to go. Ma, don't leave us here. I have to. This is best for you. There's a fountain over there. Shall I get you some water? I can't go any further, Jim. Get them to the workhouse. There's nothing we can do for her. Prison would be better than there. Tell this Bobby we caught the boy stealing and let him put them both into prison. What's going on? I ain't stolen nothing. Hey, get up, boy. And you, woman, get up. She can't. She's sick. She can't stay here. Get him to the workhouse. Where's Ma going? Can I go with her? Go with her? A big strong boy like you? You cannot. Maybe if you're good, Mr. Sissons might let you see her tomorrow. Show him the boy cage, in case he gets any ideas. Come with me. The boy cage is where they put the boys who will try to escape from here. Remember that. No, you're not having any with a cough like that. Cod liver oil for you, my boy. And none for you. I don't like the look on your face today. Acting like a pig! Well, you can eat like a pig! Let us reflect for a moment, children, on the, poor, on the poor people outside these gates who have no food to eat at all tonight. 
Quickly. Can I go to my mom? No, you've got to sleep like the other boys. I can't sleep. What's up with you? I want Ma. I want Emily and Lizzie. You're warm and dry. Enter. Then go over there and I'll go to sleep. <laughs> Run off out to the yard and scrub your monkey faces. Please, sir. Wash yourself quick, boy, before you freeze. Sir? I'm not, sir. Only Joseph. I hate, sir. Same as you. Please, Joseph, tell me where the infirmary is. Why should I tell you that? Because my mom's there and I've been good. The infirmary is upstairs. Only the message I got from Mrs. Sissons was, don't bother taking that boy upstairs because his ma, your mom's dead son, Rosie, I want to tell Emily and Lizzie, I want to go home. Home? What do you mean home? If the saint home, the whole world is this. Whole world. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't, Joseph. There's no shops here, no carriages, and no trees. And there's no river. There's a great big river outside here. My home, this place? I'll get out of here quick as I can, and I'll run and run till I find Lizzie and Emily, and we'll find us a proper home. This ain't your home, this ain't, and never will be. Consider yourself at home. Consider yourself one of the family. We take it to you. I don't like noise in my classroom. What don't I like? Noise, Mr. Barra. Speak up. What don't I like? Noise, Mr. Barra. What? Noise, Mr. Barra. That's better.
Are you new? Yes, mister. Are you good or are you evil? I don't know, mister. What do I say? Evil, evil Mr. Barak. And what would you like to be? Good, Mr. Barak. God is good. God is holy. <laughs> There's nothing to laugh at here. No, sir. There ain't. Tell this miserable little new boy what the most important part of the day is. Eating, sir. No, it ain't. You're right, sir. It ain't. But it's so bad it ain't worth eating it anyway. <laughs> I agree, and I'm the one that can sit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hit him, Mr. Barrett. He's a good boy. That's right, he is. He agrees with everything you say. Tell this ignorant child what the most important part of the day is. Prayer, sir. If that is the only thing you, you learn, that you would have done well. Get your slates out and write. Now who sent you to along? Might as well get a pair of spiders to come and do the job. Big, strong boys. That's what I want for this work. Ain't it, Marion? But we're really strong. Look at my muscles. And we'll do anything to help Mr. Sissons, won't we, Ted? You're supposed to thrash the carpets, not tackle them. But we want to help. We can, we can carry the carpets to the door. We're good at carrying, aren't we, Tip? Are you? Now you're talking. Wappy thinks it's carpets. I can do with a bit of help with this one here. Tim, Mrs. Sissons is there. Just act normal. My heart's banging like a big drum. I danced, I danced. This is me chance, Tip. I'm going. Don't forget me, Jim. Hey, I have a bit of cross. You from the workhouse? Nah. Bet you are. Them's workhouse clothes. Mind you, they look warm. I'll swap you. Give us your clothes and you can have mine. What, and get picked up by the bobbies from the away? That's not likely, brother. I'm looking for my sister, Emily, except I don't know where she is. Well, that's helpful, brother. She's with a rosy someone in a big house. I've been looking all over London for her. Well, you ain't look hard enough. What's over there, brother? Who by my laces? That's it. There's the big house. I found Emily. Everything will be all right. Gracious me! Frightened the living daylights out of me. Emily! Emily! Hang on, I'm coming. We don't give to beggars. I'm not a beggar. I've come to see Emily. Emily? There's no Emily here. Emily. Emily Jarvis. She helps Rosie out in the kitchens. Rosie? Who's she? Rosie. You must know Rosie. She has, she's got big arms and she doesn't like making bread. Hear that, cook? There's no one here who doesn't like making bread. There I'm looking for my sister Emily. There was a woman with a black crinkly dress called Judd. She'll remember. Judd, the last housekeeper. She was sent away with another woman. She was found hiding some street children in the kitchen. Those were my sisters, Emily and Lizzie. Where are they? Where's Rosie? Are they workhouse clothes? Please don't send me back there. I wouldn't send my worst enemy there. All right, you can come in for a bit. Polly, you go off to bed. Good night, sweetheart. Lucky for you, his lordship's away. And there's a little bit of stove left, too. Half past five, time to be alive. milk o cream -o. Here's Betsy. Wake up, you've got to go with her. Here you are, just one joke today. Oh, you've got visitors. This boy is looking for Rosie, who used to work here. If I'm right, she's one of your friends, Betsy. Rosie, she's gone down the world, all because of a couple of street kids. What happened to Emily and Lizzie? Oh, I don't know the answer, but if you want to climb on my heart, 
Climb on my cart. I'll take you to your Rosie. Don't you dare come back. There's nothing we can do for you. Here, take this bread for your breakfast. Don't gobble this, Grandma. You will choke. Hungry, that's why. I know you're hungry. You're greedy, too. Rosie? I've come about Emily and Lizzie. Lord and Jim. bless us and Jervis's little boy. Ma died a long time ago in the infirmary. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Come here, child. You can cry now. You can cry. Can I stay here with you? Stay here? Oh, Jim, I don't know. I'll have to hide you somehow. Grandfather, if he finds out you're intending to stay here, he will throw to the jails and be with you. I've been looking for you days and days. Please don't send me away. I'm hungry. Where's my other bread? You have to share to the boy, Grandmother. Rosie, can you go back to work at the, his lordship's house? I don't know, Jim. I was very lucky to get the job, but I lost it. That's that. Was it because of Emily and Lizzie that you lost it? Lord, no. It was because of my cooking so bad. I never cooked anything but fish in my life. And they expect me to make a bread. What about Emily and Lizzie? They didn't get sent to the workhouse, did they? Lord, no. The, there was a beautiful lady came to a big house. When she saw Emily and Lizzie, she had them washed and sent out dresses. And she, she took them to a carriage all the way to countryside. I wish it was true, Jim. I wish it was. Wood for your fireplace! Wood for your fireplace! of shrimps if the boy will dance for me again. So delightful. I'll come again tomorrow and bring my friends. Okay. Oh! Not too scared for me, oh man. So delightful. Buy some shrimps and I will. Buy some shrimps, he says. What with? Anyway, I am caught shrimps. How can I buy myself, brother? I'm very pleased with you, Skipping Jim. I'm selling more fish than I can pickle. Look, Jim, it's Betsy. Maybe she's found Emily and Lizzie. I don't think so. They're too far away. I've been worrying, I've been worrying myself soft about this boy. He's doing fine. He's a real little dancing man, ain't you, Jim? Although he can't stay with me for long because of grandfather. There's a man around the next street who is teaching poor children to no uh, for nothing. Come with me, Jim. I'm taking it to school. No, not school. I hate school. I hate teachers. 
he's not a school teacher. He's a doctor, so he says, Dr. Bernier or something. But I want to help Rosie. Go with, uh, go with Betsy, Jim. She's right. You ought to be at school. Bring your children to me, and I will educate them. God, I'll teach them God is love. God is good. No, he ain't. He ain't been good to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the boy's right. There's not much love around here. Clear off. We've heard enough of your talk. Gotcha. You've been hiding from me, ain't ya? Where's your money? Well, I ain't got none. Now you got none. Give it back to me. That's all I have. I'll work harder then, ain't ya? Instead of sleeping in the daytime. <laughs> Here, Rosie sent these for you. Thanks. Shrimps? I love shrimps. Is, are you really called shrimps? Shrimps is how they call me and shrimps will do. Who was that woman? My loving mother. Only looks for me when she wants money. Where do you live then? Depends. If I make more than a copper or two selling laces, I keep it for the night for a lodging house. On your own? On my own with 50 other geezers, snoring their heads off all night. Sounds like a thunderstorm sometimes. If I don't make any money, I sleep so I can. I spent a week in the workhouse once. Worse than sleeping with a pack of eels. Eels are charming company. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a brother, Skip and Jim? No. Do you? Nah, used to. Don't have one anymore. Like to have one going around with me. Me too. Got to go. Got a cue to tea. Will you be here tomorrow? Who will buy my laces? It'd be nice to have a brother. Brother like shrimps. Real nice. Well, I know you. You're the little rat that's been sulking in my boat shed. Oh, please, mister. Let me stay there. I ain't doing no harm. Oh, I got better plans for you. Stand up, Stripe. Let's have a look at you. He's only a twig. He'll grow. You can trim him up, Nick. He'll give you no trouble. Come on, boy. Go on. Go with Grammy Nick. You've got a home and a job now. Can't I tell Rosie? She won't need no telling. Not for you, old sea Liz. You with Grimy Nick? What if I am? Well, give us a sip of your ale. Won't your master get any? We ain't got a master anymore. We worked Silas's fields for a month, and now we have to go and find someone else. I've uh, been here four days now. I, got a, I guess I'm lucky then. At least I've got a job. Roll up, roll up for the greatest show on earth. Come and see the greatest contortionist. Madame Bombadini as she flies through the air. Madame Blanchard and her dancing horses. Come and join our clowns. Roll up, roll up. Who's that dirty boy, Mama? Case or bag muffin? What do you want, boy? Please, Missus, I've come for a job if you'll give me one, and I don't want no money, Missus. No money? Never heard that before. If you'll feed me, Missus, I'll do anything. 
Why did you get so dirty, boy? You were on the lighter, tied up. No, not me. Can we give him some work to do, Mama? He looks nice. I don't suppose you have done any sewing, have you? Yes, at the workhouse. Uh, I mean, no, I don't know if I can sew. He doesn't know anything? But I'll try, Mrs. Papa, look at this dirty boy! <coughs> this is an old boy, this is a sack of coal. He says he wants a job. Please, mister. Now tell me, Trey, have you run away from home? I haven't got a home. No home? I used to live on a coal lighter. It was you. You were on the lily. Not the lily, uh, another one. Rosie it was called. I haven't got anywhere to live now. Give him a job with me, Papa. He's funny. We have jobs you can do, yes. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Deglini. What's this? A, a soft heart for a dirty ragamuffin. Just do as I say. When, when the people turn out for a show tonight, he can help Antonio with the money at the door. Can we trust a boy like this with money? Just, just keep him here, Madam Juglini. I have a visit to make and some questions to ask. A visit to make on a circus day? Where are you going? To the riverbank, but say nothing to the boy. Can you count, Jim? No, no one taught me counting. Don't worry, I'll teach you. But tonight, I'll take the money and you give the tickets up. Oh, everything's all right now. Tonight, I'm going to sleep in your little green caravan. Then, tomorrow, I'll groom the horses again. Then bang the drum. Then help give out tickets. Then you'll teach me counting. Everything's all right now. Of course it is. We'll, te we'll look after you. Your pet ma and pa, they, te they treat me as if I, I was in the family. Wait till they see you dancing. They'll put you in a clown's costume and give you a job in the ring. Oh, will they? This is my best day, Antonio, my best day ever. Roll up, roll up, to see the Gleaming Circus, the greatest show on earth. Show me where he is. Let me get at him. In a moment, in a moment. My reward first, if you please. If you please. Oh no, he's here. What's the matter? It's Nick. It's Grimy Nick. You gotta help me get out of here. Oh! <clears throat> Bye, brother. Bye! It's so big and lonely here. Sure, I walked so far. Surely Nick will find me now. Stop and rest. That's what I like to do. But I daren't. Not out in the open like this. Come on, brother, this has got to lead somewhere. Ah! Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. I'm no murderer. I'm just looking for bread, that's all. I ain't got no bread. I ain't got nothing. You're not good for me, then. Wait, what does the sign say? Can't you read? No. Neither can I, boy. That's where I come from, London Town. London Town? Rosie lives in London Town. Jim, you're going home. Do I know you? It's me, it's Jim, Skippin' Jim. Skippin' Jim? No, don't remember no one of that name. What happened to all the houses and the people who lived here? Where's Rosie? Rosie? I know a dozen Rosies. Your own, uh, your own, Rever. You made sure of that. Shrimp so, wax so. Rosie, wait, it's me, it's Jim. What do you want? Oh, I thought you were Rosie. Well, I am, so clear off home. I ain't got no one. Can I help you? Help me? What can you do to help me? I can, I can dance. And shout out, shrimp so, whelk so. And as soon as they come, you pick their pockets and we'd both be done for. Not likely. Clear off. You have some shrimp, old lady. lady. Clear off.
this is what I do. I used to do it for Rosie. Can't dance no more. My leg hurts and my boots are full of holes. You, you remind me of Skinny Jim. You used to come around here a long time ago. You don't know anyone named Shrimps, do you? Of course I do. Everyone knows Shrimps. Don't know where I can find him. He's gone. Gone where? Got himself a better place. Time to go home now. Please, mister, can I stay? Your mom will wonder what kept you so late. I ain't got no mother. Your father, then? I ain't got no father, either. What's your name, child? Jim Darvis. Tell me, are there any other boys sleeping in the streets with no home to go to? More than I can count. What kind of world is this? Will you take me to where you where these other boys are? All right, I'll take you. Is this where you live, is it? Yes, mister. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Jim. I will not rest until I can raise enough money to give every single one of these children a place to live in.